In this video we're going to show the wizard to auto program from an external device. What we're looking at now is the editor with all default programming so it's basically empty, no presets are set. We can see that here. Uh, no IA slots are programmed. You can see that here. And we just have a basic page uh, layout that comes built in. So what we're going to do is go to Auto Program Wizard and we're going to answer a couple of uh, key questions. So here we can select the external device that we're going to program with an X2 or an Ultra. I have an Ultra here so I'll go ahead and do that. Uh, what MIDI channel is the device on? Mine's on 1. What's the first preset you want to program? Uh, we'll do 1 and just for the sake of the video I'll do uh, 10 presets so from 1 through 10. Over here it's asking us uh, if we want the uh, program the wizard to program a tuner for us and and put that on IA slot 60. I'm going to say yes I'll show you why in a second. Uh, do you, we want the wizard to program a tap tempo for us on IA slot 59? I'm going to say yes and then uh, do we want it to program the expression pedals with the external controllers 1 through 4 and I'll say yes and then finally over here it's asking for page number 1 uh, do we want it to create a button that, to handle tap tempo and tuner for us and I have a uh, LF12 plugged in so I'm gonna go ahead and select button number 9 which by default is set to the menu function so uh, we're we're going to have this wizard change button number 9 to make it a uh, tap tempo because we have it selected to do that and a tuner as a second function and so we'll show that and then down here we can program up to the first 28 IA slots uh, with whatever functions we want and there are a couple interesting things here so if we go ahead and click down and uh, let's say IA slot 1 is going to be amp 1 cab 1 reverb one, delay one, chorus one, you can see what I'm doing here, flanger one, you can do whatever it is you want and we'll add a drive for fun. Now for the ultra um, which doesn't have XY's, these are just normal effects uh, plucked out, this three digit number here is the default CC number if you did not modify it on your own. What this wizard's going to do is program all the IA slots to the defaults then it's going to go out to the uh, Axe effects itself see if you've changed those numbers and if you have it'll reprogram it to whatever numbers you have in there. Now on the Axe 2 I'm going to program my A slot to be XY's and then I'll show you how we're going to move these things around. So if we scroll down the list here you'll get to uh, these XY's. Now this doesn't mean anything for the Ultra community but for the Axe 2 if you want an IA slot to now sync up and control um, XY, so here's our amp and maybe delay. Whoops, wrong one. Let's go to the XY of delay. All right, I'll stop there, and you get the idea. You can program as many as you want. So we'll hit next, and now it's giving us the checklist to do for the uh, wizard to do its job. So make sure the Axe effect is turned on. It is. In the I.O. control menu, make sure that you have it set to send tuner sysx data only, or none. Um, mine's set for tuner. Make sure you only have one MIDI cable connected between the liquid foot and the X. Just plug a 5-pin or 7-pin cable between the liquid foot, the out of the liquid foot to the in of the X. Do not plug in two cables. Uh, you'll create a loopback, and we don't want that. It'll stop the system from working. And then make sure the editor is connected to the liquid foot um, uh, with the USB cable and mine is and then finally look at your liquid foot and just make sure it says editor mode at this point you should be connected and uh, it should say editor mode okay so now we're going to go ahead and uh, process auto program so it's going to go ahead it would give you an error at this point if it couldn't find the axe or if the editor was wrong in this case it just did everything we asked it to do so it loaded in uh, the first set of presets, so let's go ahead and look at that. So here you can see that it added uh, these 10 presets. And so I can click on one. Here's Crystal Echoes. It created the name, the nickname. It um, 
plugged in all the uh, default values. It created the program change message for us, and it loaded the initial states uh, for the IA switches that I'm going to show you that we just set. So we programmed IA slot one. Whoops. Uh, IA slot one was amp bypass. Uh, cab one is two. Three is reverb, four, and so on. So as we flip through these presets, you'll see the states on the bottom here change uh, to follow the programming. Now, uh, if you selected an XY, uh, since the Ultra in this case is what I uh, synced with, there is no XY, so it'll set it as a bypass. So you really don't want to use the XY functions if you are using Ultra. In a uh, Axe FX2, this will uh, populate correctly. An on would be the X position and a bypass, or the, the red circle will be the Y position. That's how the liquid foot will process it. Now, button number nine, let's go to the page, and you'll see that we told uh, button number nine right here to um, uh, become our tap tempo and tuner. And it's programmed everything properly, all the parameters and so on. And if we look at the IA switches, it programmed each of the effects that we wanted. If we click on one, you'll see it programmed the on and off messages for you and set the uh, types properly. And then on 59 and 60, it created a tuner and a um, tap tempo. So if we click on tuner, you can see it created the uh, tuner programming message, made it a quick tap button, and set all the states properly. So that is about as fast as you can program a liquid foot. If you do all 200 or 384 uh, presets, uh, it literally takes about two and a half minutes and will program the entire liquid foot controller for you, which leaves you with uh, very little to do except for the following. Uh, so let's go back to our page. So right now you can see that once we did the auto program, you can see what the effects are and where they are placed by default, they go numeric order, so IA, IA slot 1, 2, 3. Now if you change pages, um, you can go ahead and uh, you know, move IA slots around at this point. But uh, let's say we did not want button number 6 to be the amp bypass, which just by default goes to IA1. So we can go ahead and click in here and just pick any of our other effects, so maybe amp 1, XY on top. And then down here, uh, we'll make that the amp one bypass, which is typically how you would want to use this kind of switch, and then we'll turn dynamic IAs on. We'll go ahead and send this to the liquid foot, and pretty much now we're done. <laughs> so, very simple to program. What we just did in a matter of a handful of minutes of explanation uh, uh, now essentially allows the wizard to program all your presets for you, all your IA slots that you're going to sync anyway, and uh, some of the, the uh, tab tempo and, and uh, tuner buttons on your liquid foot. At this point we would then uh, transfer everything to the liquid foot and we're done. Thank you.